So we're going to move on to the next piece. So this is a drinking cup from the Feio, the Feio near Sparta, Greece, 1600 to 1500 BCE. Made from gold, it's kind of a smaller cup, it's three and a half inches high. Um, and it was used, it was made using the Raposé technique, which is much like that funerary mask that we saw. Um, it's basically, they use a hammer and a some, some kind of instrument to knock the hammer, um, that they knock the hammer with on a kind of a flatter sh sheet, and they punch that design out from behind. Obviously this sheet was molded into a cup eventually, but they punched that design um, from behind that you can see here, the raised areas um, were punched be from behind. So that's the Raposé technique. And it actually shows some hunters attempting to capture wild, wild bulls. And this particular picture shows the hunter sneaking up behind the bull. And as you can see, he's putting a noose around the hind leg of the bull. And you can see the landscape in the background. So there's a setting in this, which is a little unusual. We haven't seen a ton of setting in our, the pieces that we've covered so far, but there is a setting in the background. You can see a tree and, you know, some some other foliage here. And so it's really kind of the exceptional technical quality of the cup is really pretty astounding for this time period. And we'll move on to the next one here. This is an example of second millennium BCE life-sized figural art. Uh, I believe it's this one here. Um, and it's from the Greek mainland. So Peloponnesus, uh, specifically Mycenae. It's called Female Head, and it's 1300 to 1250 BCE, painted plaster. So the face is six and a half inches high, which is about, you know, life size. And they think that this is part of a larger sculpture. And like I said, um, life size sculpture on mainland Greece during this period, this time period, is very rare. So this is only one of the few, very few examples that they found that is a life-size sculpture that was made during this period on mainland Greece anyway. So you can see this is kind of a, a painted plaster head of a woman or goddess, they're not quite sure, but the white flesh tone indicates that it is a female. If it was dark, it would probably be a male. And the hair and the eyes are dark blue and the lips and ears and headband are red. And the cheeks and chin feature these red circles that maybe facial tattoos, um, we're not quite sure. And this, they think, like I said, that this was part of a full statue um, that would have been life-size, which is very rare because this is not something that's commonly found on the Greek mainland. And then the last piece that we'll talk about is the warrior vase or crater from Mycenae, Greece, 1200 BCE. It's about a foot and four inches high. So after the downfall of the Mycenaean palaces, the art from that time, you know, was continued, but typically what they find um, in later um, in later art from this area is mostly vase painting. So we see this vase, or actually it's called a crater, which is actually a bowl used for mixing wine and water. A lot of the ancients um, drank beer, especially in this part of the, you know, the Egyptians drank beer. I'm not quite sure about the people of Greece. I think they actually drink, drank more wine, but they would mix wine and water together and drink that. And it might've been partially because of all the, you know, pathogens that could have possibly been in the water and the alcohol actually kills those pathogens. So, um, so it's a crater, it's used for mixing wine and water and it's called the warrior vase. And it kind of shows a depiction of warriors marching off to war and then there's a woman here and she's kind of watching them leave and there's no indication of setting there's no landscape in the background there's nothing just the figures and the soldiers are shown combined um it with that combined profile and frontal view so kind of seeing that convention again from you know ancient egypt and mesopotamia where it's kind of a combination of views and this simplified style starts to kind of reemerge uh, later in the prehistoric Aegean as it as time goes on. It 
art actually gets sim more simple. Um, so anyway, I think that's the last piece that we're covering. Um, we're not going to do these discussion questions. I just do that if we're in person. So anyway, we'll talk to you later and we'll see you in the next video.